What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, we're going to be going through possible fixes for the connection error inside of Fall Guys. Note that before we start with the video, while Fall Guys has come a long way since initial release, the servers could very well still be struggling, especially with big updates. Make sure to check at Fall Guys Owl on Twitter for official server announcements, downtime, etc., etc. That'll be linked in the description down below. If it seems to just be you and none of your friends or the official servers, then there's a couple of things that we can try. Number one, fully restart your PC and fully restart your router or routers, extenders, etc., etc., so that your network and hopefully PC are taken out of the equation. If for some reason you're still getting connection errors, there could be numerous other reasons. The first most common reason could be another device on the network or simply too many devices taking up too much internet, causing the network to become unstable, especially when using wireless. If you can, try and use a wired connection to your router and then off to the internet. Also, if possible, try and disconnect as many devices as possible from your router to ensure that nothing else on the network is interfering with the gameplay. Talking about crowded, make sure that your PC isn't crowded. Hold Control, Shift, and then press Escape to bring up the Task Manager. When inside of here, try and close as many programs as possible. So, i.e. Discord, your web browser, text editors, email clients, music clients, etc, etc, leaving just Steam and the game open. After doing this, if it suddenly improves, then something else on your PC was sucking up all of your internet power or was causing instability in some way or another. Opening up programs one by one until you experience a connection error or crash is a very good way of finding out exactly what's causing an issue. If you're still getting a connection error and say it's right when starting up the game, it could have something to do with your DNS. Simply look on your start bar for the little internet connection icon. It'll either be a monitor with a cable next to it or a wireless icon. Right click on it, and then click Open Network and Internet Settings. When you get to this page, hit Properties under the way that you're connected to the internet, and then scroll down on this page till you see IP Settings. Click Edit, and then under Preferred DNS, enter 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare's DNS solution, and then under Alternate, enter 8.8.8.8 .8 for Google's DNS solution. Simply hit Save. Your internet may drop out for a second or two, but you can close out of this window and then we'll be clearing the DNS cache to make sure that everything's set up properly and if your ISP's DNS server was causing issues reaching the server, it should be fixed. Hit Start, type in CMD, and then click Run as Administrator when you have Command Prompt highlighted. You can also right-click and click Run as Administrator. After doing this, simply type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, one word, and then hit enter. Our DNS resolver cache has been cleared and hopefully everything should be working when you launch up the game. If it is working, then it was probably an issue with your old DNS server, which is more than likely your internet provider's DNS server. This of course is an easy solution and often can give you much better performance when initially visiting certain web pages on the internet as well. And then finally, the last solution that I can think of is a physical issue between your internet connection and the actual server's internet connection. This could be anywhere from right outside your house to a big undersea cable. Something that we can do is try and take a different route to the server. This is most commonly accomplished by either restarting your router or by using something like a VPN to connect to a local server and then overseas or wherever the game servers are located relatively to you. Of course, it can add a couple of ping, but if it allows you to play the game outright, then it's probably worth two or three extra ping for a really local server. Now, there's many different VPN providers, some paid, some free. While I don't have a suggestion for you, there is a solution from Cloudflare called Cloudflare Warp, which you can go ahead and try. It's a completely free solution as far as I know, and while it doesn't hide your IP address, it does give you a different route to servers, as far as I know. Of course, if you're using NordVPN, ExpressVPN, or anything like that, you can try and use their services as well, but of course, those are paid services. So with all that out the way, hopefully you're able to play Fall Guys now without a connection error. If you're still receiving one, try using a different internet connection, such as mobile data, to find out if it's your PC or simply your local network causing the issue. From there, you should be able to take further steps. But anyways, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!